Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Edward Hand. Edward Hand was born in Ireland, and he grew up to attend university and become a physician. But instead of opening a practice, he joined the British Army. Now, this was between the French and Indian War and the American Revolution, but still, he was sent to North America, where he was stationed at Fort Pitt, and he served as the surgeon of his unit, and eventually was commissioned as an ensign, which is the lowest... Uh, form of officer you could be at the time, but he started to make his way up the ranks before he resigned his commission and decided to start a life in Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Pennsylvania to be specific. Well, this just happened to be in 1774, and the following year the Revolutionary War broke out. So Edward decided to lend his know-how to his new country, and he was commissioned in the 1st Pennsylvania Regiment of the Continental Army. He was commissioned as a lieutenant colonel. But he was quickly promoted to colonel, and he ended up participating in the famous crossing of the Delaware with George Washington and subsequent battles in New Jersey. Hand would soon be commissioned again as a brigadier general, and he was sent to his old stomping ground, Fort Pitt. The thinking goes, he had a lot of experience there. He should be good at helping us hold off any Native Americans who were fighting with the British from coming through Pennsylvania and attacking Philly or New York or any such place that a city that might be a more valuable target. Unfortunately, Edward Hand made a few miscalculations, including uh, attacking several local Native American tribes, one of which was the Lenape, who were not only neutral in the war, but really friendly with the United States. But Hand did not realize who he was fighting with, and he raided a village and killed some family members of several important Native Americans, and this turned the friendly Lenape against the Americans. Because of this, Hand was soon recalled, uh, though he would stick with the army, eventually become an adjutant general, which is uh, kind of participating in the, the business of running an army. And he helped run the business side of the army for several years, and he was president at the Battle of Yorktown, and which means he served from 1775 all the way through the end of the war. In fact, he was brevetted or given the honorary title of major general at the end of the war. Now, after the war, Hand did return to become a physician in his hometown, but he ended up representing Pennsylvania in the Colonial Assembly. He spent a good amount of time in the Continental Congress. He eventually would help Pennsylvania write its second constitution, and he was the original uh, presidential elector where he was one of the people who got to vote for George Washington to be the first president of the United States. So that's a brief overview of the life and history of Edward Hand. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember to hit like, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time we put out a new video. For example, on Wednesdays, tomorrow, we'll have a live video where I'll recap the last seven articles I published on my website, founderoftheday.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with that live video tomorrow.